I don't need the governor to come. I need the secretary of housing to come. Okay. And tell me how will we open up all of these abandoned houses in the city of Baltimore? No veteran should be sleeping on the street in Baltimore with 16,000 houses. There are unsung heroes amongst us. I'm thankful for our pastors. But there is an entity that does greater work on a more consistent basis than our pastors. And those are who I want to celebrate and honor right now. Those are the public school teachers of Baltimore who work day in and day out and have to spend out of their own pocket just to decorate their classroom. Do me a favor, celebrate our public teachers who are sacrificing their life. If we limit the conversation to illegal arrests and police brutality, we have missed the mark. Our call, ladies and gentlemen, as you look around this vast sea of Baltimoreans that have come, our issue in Baltimore with a black mayor, a black president of city council, well, and a black police chief, well, that is not our issue, it's not black and white. Well, our issue in Baltimore is blue and green. Yes. Yes. Is that we have an issue of economic inequity. Yes. There is no reason in the world African Americans are 64% of the population, but we have no millionaires to show for it. Okay, There's yes. got to be a greater call for greater black business and minority business yes. in Baltimore. Yes. You're telling me black Baltimoreans only know how to do hair and fried chicken wings? The devil is a lie. There is great genius inside of us, and we've got to have an opportunity to get it done. In Baltimore, there's got to be equitable funding, not just for black businesses. But Morgan Coppin and Sojourner Douglas should not be under imminent threat of underfunding because we are, in fact, educating brilliant black minds. Do me a favor, please, for all the HBCUs in the state of Maryland and the worth and value that they offer, would you open up your mouth and shout for them now? We are here this afternoon symbolically because regrettably City Hall no longer holds significant power anytime the state has come in. When the National Guard is here, the governor has moved his office here. Governor Hogan, can I tell you, if you really want to babysit, pay for pre-K and Head Start program. We don't need you in Baltimore. Go back to Annapolis and do some real work so Marylanders can get to work. This is a call because the band-aid has been ripped off. Something is out of order. When Governor Hogan has reduced the funding for public schools, but increased the funding for penal systems, something is wrong when more money is allocated for special needs than it is for gifted and talented. We are getting ready to cultivate the greatest geniuses. And if, in fact, Baltimore Public Schools doesn't have the money to do it, what about all the money Johns Hopkins has? It ought to be giving to the community so that we'll be able to stand together. This is an emergency crisis. You think we've got nothing better to do with our 